The Volunteer Awards Committee is pleased to acknowledge the category of Volunteer Service and Leadership Award. The award has been established to honor an individual who has combined his or her volunteer service and leadership skills to build capacity among volunteers, establish rapport among families in a way that recruits new energy and resources, as well as build and improve on traditions and ideas. We are pleased to acknowledge this year's recipient at this time. To assist with the recognition of this individual, we have invited a special guest who just happens to be in town to learn how Kenter volunteerism works. Please join me in welcoming this buckaroo from the great state of Oklahoma. Here's Claude. <laughs> So we can tell everybody we got volunteers too. <laughs> so, one of the things I wrote down that one of you told me about this thing called gift wrapping. Now we don't do no gift wrapping. We call them presents. <laughs> now on the take the Sunday paper when you, and you just kind of throw them over here in the corner. You get oodles and gobs of them. And then you get you tell somebody that they're getting married, got a birthday, you got to take a present. You just take you some Sunday paper. You wrap that sucker up. You go out to the barn. You look over there. If you got a present in the past and they put a bow on it, you just pick it up. You plaster it on there. You got you a gift. I understand that your volunteers here. It's different. You sell wrapping paper, gift wrapping paper. You got to have volunteers to go out there and sell gift wrapping paper. Don't get it, but I'm going to take her back there and see if we can do that because, well, you know. And then that other job that I wrote down here, a framer. Now, when I talk about a framer, I'm talking about somebody who takes wood and they build a frame and they make it into a bar. This framer, I don't get it. Because there just ain't enough room on the walls in the house to put all them frames. You know, if you got frames on the wall, that means somebody got married or they graduated from high school. And you get their picture and you put it in between all those little four pieces of wood, call it a frame, and you hang it on the wall. But you get those frames for cousins, neighbors, and everybody else. There ain't no room for all them little drawings and kids bring home from school. <laughs> but I heard them here, I heard that this school, them volunteers take them suckers, they put them in this big frame and sell them. <laughs> and they call them volunteers framers. Well. I tell you what, I'm going to look to be a framer, and I might have one of you go back with me to help me teach our volunteers how to frame. And then, you know, when we need water, we just run down there to the creek and just kind of bend over and get you a cup of and bring that stuff. Here, I got some volunteer went out there and bought some water machine and been filling that sucker up for years. People put in there four quarters and this bottle comes out of it. We ain't got such thing like that back home. But I'm going to take a picture of one of them bottles and take it back because it won't let it take more than four ounces on that plane. So I'm just going to take a picture of it. And then, I don't get this one either. A silent auction. Now, when I go to my auction, when I take my cows out there, it's like 20 by 12, 22, 24, 24, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, I don't get it. How do you do it if it's silent? <laughs> dude over there in the cowboy had the blue hat with green feathers. Are you the winner? I don't know, I'm going to find out about this auction thing. And then they had this thing called the live auction. Well, I've never been to a dead one, but I'll tell you. <laughs> Go to this live auction. I understand they got these good little girls. And they walk around and they model these diamonds. Now, I'm going to tell you, if I did that back home, it'd probably be something illegal. <laughs> so, I don't know. But, and then dust. Now, we ain't got no duck, we ain't got no duster back there. We got all kinds of dudes, we ain't got no duster. A duster is taking a rag and you do it yourself. 
But out here, they got dusters. Get these nice little poles with these little things on it. You walk around, you dust things. And then I don't know why you can't do it every day or every week. I heard at this school they had this thing called work weekend work day. And volunteers come over here with dusters. <laughs> and, and dust the ceilings and the windows and all that kind of stuff. So, I don't know. I was trying to say, this is a lot of people. I can get me a couple of cowhands to have all this done in a matter of minutes, but you guys have these volunteer things. So, I started looking at it. Uh, the things I wrote down here, there is one, one person that uh, they telling me about. Said she ran the gift wrap and then she's one of them framers. And then she still fills that water machine. Been doing it since they put the thing in. Then I heard that she was a field driver. Now, I assume that would be like a, one of them school journey things. Or maybe I left out a word, it's a field trip driver. Because the field driver's got a whole different connotation in my world. And then a cashier at the auction. Well, a model and wearing those diamonds around them. Dusting those on weekends. And then I learned that a homeroom parent, and then on top of that, one time they talked this, they talked this girl into being the president of the decision-making board. <laughs> now, you go down the pool hall down my area, you can see them playing dominoes over there, and whoever wins, that's the one makes the decisions. <laughs> and here, they elect these people. I mean, they actually raise their hands and vote and elect these people, and then that person gets on this board over here to make all those decisions. And then that person didn't have enough all this spare time. I don't know where she got spare time to do all these other things. But she not only became that president of the governor's council, she jumped in and said, I'll be president of PSG. And I'm trying to figure that one out because, you know, there's not even a vowel in there. <laughs> I didn't know how to say it. I just didn't know how to say it, so I hope I didn't offend anybody. But this woman was the president of PSG. So if, if you got any time on your hands, and you want to come back and help us in Oklahoma put together this volunteer stuff? Well, I know the person to bring. It's the person who's going to get this award right now. Our Volunteer Service Award and Leadership Award, Angela Yee!